Hi everyone, so I'm going to be talking about our time in the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. So the museum was a very heavy experience, um, and definitely one of the more somber parts of the trip. So the museum had a lot to offer. Um, there was a Hall of Remembrance, um, which was a place that had water flowing and it was very quiet in there and it was designed for us to think about um, war in general and uh, all the victims who had died in this incident. And while that's not what's in the video right now, um, here we see, have a visual visualization of where the bomb dropped and what the destruction looked like. So I'll just let this play out um, for a few seconds. So the, mu the museum had a lot of artifacts and pictures of the bombing, uh, such as clothes that some of the victims wore, and it also had pictures of some of the burn victims, and a lot of it was very unsettling, but the incident was very horrific, so it created a whole new layer of it, um, at least for me. Like, for example, here's the shadow burned into the bridge. Um, from someone who's standing by because of how bright the nucle the flash from the bomb was. And here's the description of the acid rain that followed after the nuclear fallout. And here's some of the... some rocks and some metal that was nearby. And you can just see what the heat of the bomb did and just how hot it was that it re-morphed um, some of these objects. Here's a view um, of the outside from inside the museum. Here I was reflecting on everything I had just seen and I decided to take a picture of what the area was like. Here's part of the destruction, and some of the buildings were still standing. And here's some more. Here's a picture of what it looked like after the, after the blast. So all in all, it was a very sad experience, but is also very eye-opening um, seeing this event from a new lens.